Five fans, is Joseph Heron with South Texas Contender and FightSaga.com. Here with the Mandingo Warrior, Mr. James Kirkland. James, are you excited to be back on the big stage of HBO once again? Well, you know, at most depth, foremost, I want to give thanks to God. Because without him, this is, uh, wouldn't be no opportunity, you know. But uh, like I said, I, I definitely am, am excited, man. And uh, I want to show up for the fans and show them exactly what boxing is about. Uh, a brawl, a fight, and war, you know. Outstanding. Yeah, we're looking at the clash of styles. The counterpuncher versus the bull. The matador, you know. <laughs> You know, so what are fight fans supposed to expect on May 9th? The clash of styles is a tremendous one. Is it going to play out that way? I feel like uh, uh, fight fans should get to their seats immediately, you know, meaning that this will jump off from the beginning, you know. So it'll be everything everybody uh, wants in a particular fight. So uh, I, I come to bring it. At the same time, I know that he's looking forward to it being a, a broad contact or or it being one of those uh, uh, where a bunch of energy is going to be exposed and used for the particular fight. So I'm willing to uh, 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 show out what I'm about. Well, let's talk about your transition. Obviously, you went from different camps. You're using an entirely new team consisting of Bebe McClinton as your strength and conditioning coach, Mr. Rick Maronis Jr., Gerald Tucker Sr., um, what has it been like working with a brand new team and has this transition been a lot easier than you originally imagined uh it's really going is uh terrific because i didn't think that a transition would be this easy but they're allowing they're allowing me you know meaning that the trainers are okay with me having my style some coaches want you to switch things up change things about you but most likely they'll let me be me but at the same time, uh, uh, picking up on the things that I lack, maybe defense uh, or how to uh, be prepared for counter shots, how to be prepared for certain things and being active, you know. So overall, man, I'm very comfortable with my transition, man, and the team that I actually have, man, is uh, 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 pushing me to the next level, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You seem extremely motivated. Is this an, a direct result of you taking control of your career and finally running things your way? Is this what's really motivating you? Because you look as hungry as we've ever seen you, James. Um, honestly, man, uh, uh, it comes with uh, uh, wanting to set a foundation for my kids, you know. I dig deep uh, grinding for them ultimately, you know, and uh, showing them and willing to take it to the ups and beyond to, to prove to them that, Daddy is taking care of business, you know. When it comes to training camp, no camp is easy. The hard work is done in the gym, and in fight time, you display it. So overall, man, I'm putting in 110% of work, uh, putting and driving for uh, for my kids, for uh, family, for a better lifestyle. And at the end of the day, you know, uh, uh, to make a better ranking for myself in the boxing, to, to please the fans, to give them exactly what they want. Absolutely. Now... Just for the fans, just out of curiosity, how do you actually view Canelo Alvarez? Because I know a lot of fighters don't like watching fight tape, but have you been, because you seem really hands-on with every aspect of this camp, have you actually been watching fight tape of Canelo? And if you have, how would you assess um, the overall package of Saul Canelo Alvarez? I say Alvarez is uh, um, active. You know, I feel that uh, he does a, a lot to try to prove himself. He steps up in hard and hard clinches, and, and and he fades out in certain clinches. Uh, overall, uh, 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 Canelo has almost the whole package. You know, uh, overall it goes into a different statue that uh, 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 that, that cleans up and says about about having the overall package. And I see certain things that he may lack. You know, and I'm uh, adapting on those things and want to work on those things so that I can make this fight uh, more as comfortable and, and, and not as easy because the fight's going to be one of those fights that it's going to be from round one to round 12 if it plans to go that, you know. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, man, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. I thank God for this opportunity. HBO, SMS, you know, uh, 50 Cent, De La Hoya and them uh, for actually uh, uh, setting it up for me to actually have this opportunity. So, man, I'm more than thankful for this, you know, and I definitely – want to display my talent in the ring. You know, that's outstanding. Just a couple more questions. You know, 
you're a guy who most people look at as a guy who goes out and looks for the knockout. Is that the case, or is that actually a misconception? And do you plan on doing the same thing in this fight? Totally a misconception because the simple fact of it is is that uh, Kirkland, I can do, I can actually do it all. I just love to get in there and take care of business. You know, uh, at the end of the day, you know, I, I want to be, I want to be able to smell Canelo's breath. I want to be able to be that close to him like a sweater. I mean, I mean, I just want to be to bring that fight that the fight fans want to make and they want to see, I'm willing to take it to the, the next level. Uh, I feel that uh, he's definitely pushing himself to the next level, and he knows that this is not a push-up. I know a lot of fight fans and certain people analyze and they speculate and they say certain things, but he knows just as well as I know uh, it's work time. You know what I mean? So I plan on the, the displaying that uh, come May 9th. You know, I'm definitely uh, in shape. I'm more than ready, uh, you know, not just working with a new team. My team is very comfortable with my style, but changing little things that I, I lack, you know, from defense, from a uh, certain type of offense, from being balanced. From There's a lot of things that I did lack, and, you know, we kind of capitalizing on all my mistakes and uh, uh, so that, you know, certain things that will be displayed in the fight from Canelo Alvarez, I will be able to get uh, uh, out of uh, harm's way and then at the same time being able to counter, being able to adjust, being able to move, be a, basically be able to bring this fight that we're looking for. You know, it sounds like you've been, uh, you know, you're a lot more proficient all the way around than most people have given you credit for in the past, but do you think that's gonna, gonna decide this fight if you're able to cut off that reaction time, close the distance? Do you think it's all over once you do that? I believe in my power. I believe in my ability. I know when I touch a man a certain way, it lights out. You know, so uh, I plan on touching him. It can be one time the way I want it to be. And I know I'm going to take control of the fight, but I got to stay active and stay busy. And uh, the fight will go as planned, you know. But over, overall, man, I'm just uh, I'm confident and I thank God for the opportunity. And, you know, and just one of those things you have to be like, you know what? I'm going to be there ahead of schedule because I don't know what I may miss. That's outstanding. Joseph Heron here with the Mandingo Warrior, James Kirkland, going to be competing on May 9th in front of 40,000 strong at Minimid Park, Houston, Texas. We'll see you at the fights.